Hey Libra, welcome or welcome back to my channel. This is going to be your general reading for the week of February 26th through March 3rd. So let's just jump right in and see what messages we get for you. All right, so we have the King of Cups at the bottom of the deck. I feel like someone wants to come towards you, Libra. I feel like you could already be in contact with this person. Maybe you are in a relationship, but I feel like someone has a lot of things that they want to express, share with you. Um, we have the Hanged Man, the Lovers, which is Gemini, and the Five of Wands. There's an internal conflict here. I feel like part of you is hesitant in letting this person in or going towards this connection because there's something about it that makes you feel like you don't have enough um, evidence, information. It's like there's something missing here for you. I feel like you are wanting to lean into it, wanting to trust this person, but there's something about it that makes you makes you feel um, kind of like you have to take a step back. Right behind the right behind the King of Cups is the Justice, which is your card. I feel like you are so um, you know, I feel like you're so focused right now on your future, your success, your career, all that stuff. And then there's this person in your life right now that is just wanting to take all of your attention. And I feel like normally that's a flattering kind of situation, right? When someone really wants our time. But I feel like for you, you could be in this very interesting spot where it's like part of you is enjoying that. But at the same time, you wish you just were able to focus a little bit more on your um, happiness and your, you know, success. But let's just see. Let's not read into it too much without having enough um, clarification. So let's go ahead and clarify the lovers. Right, we have the Hermit. You could be connecting to a Virgo. Um, we also have the High Priestess, Nine of Wands, and the Justice. So your energy is officially coming through here. I feel like your intuition is saying, tread carefully. I feel like that Nine of Wands could be that someone is being very persistent towards you. Um, I feel like someone is definitely interested in pursuing a friendship, a connection, some sort of partnership of some sort. But your intuition is just speaking so loudly. And it is telling you to watch out for some particular reason. Let's go ahead and clarify the Five of Wands. Knight of Swords. I feel like part of you wants this to work, but it could be moving too quickly for your personal preference. Um, I feel that right now, Libra, your intention is to proceed with caution so that it works, not so that you can just, you know, rush into it. I feel like for you... Having the right kind of mindset or feeling comfortable as you're going through this process of getting close to someone, working with them, getting to know them better. I feel like that whole situation, you really want it to be a slow and steady approach because you have gone through this maybe times before where you've, you know, you've learned your love language. You've learned how you want to connect to others. And I feel like this is you kind of taking those um experiences from the past and saying I know what to do now so I feel like the knight of swords it's like you have your own approach towards love and someone that you're connecting to may want to rush into it too quickly and so you may be running into this five of wands kind of conflict because you have one way of doing things they have another um, and you don't want to completely take yourself out of the equation but maybe you wish there was a, a gray area or some sort of common ground where the two of you can compromise on how to move forward we have the four of wands the Eight of Pentacles and the Seven of Wands. So again, there's definitely some potential here. I feel like the Eight of Pentacles is proof that this could very well work. Four of Wands as well. This is that, you know, feeling of reaching the end of a, you know, finish line, accomplishing something. This is that honeymoon energy, right? It's like you finally have walked down the, the runway or, you know, the the aisle, right, of marriage. It's like there's something about you arriving at this point and you're or seeing the potential of that happening. But then the seven of wands is, you know, I just don't want to rush into it. I don't want to move to that too quickly because then we might miss out on, you know, the the real fun of getting to know each other. So it just feels like a difference of opinions um, in terms of how to move towards this relationship. I feel like this week, though, you are addressing this because um, I feel like it's been on your mind for a while, but it feels like this week you're actually saying it out loud and having a conversation about it. Um, let's clarify the hanged man. All right, three of cups. Yeah, I feel like you won't be able to get out of hanged man mode until there is some sort of interaction or conversation where the two of you um, can kind of talk about it amongst each other. So King of Pentacles, Page of Swords, and the Death card. I feel like someone is 
going through or currently dealing with um, a cycle or going through an ego death of some sort. And that's also part of why this is difficult in a sense. Um, because even though there is potential, there is love, there is a desire for connection, someone is going through something internally and that could be affecting just the overall connection or the rate at which things are going. I feel like Page of Swords could be that someone is still looking for the truth or still trying to figure something out in their own personal life. King of Pentacles, again, someone is concerned with their well-being, their success, their career. I feel like this could be you. And so naturally, you don't want to completely eliminate the potential for this connection in your life at this time, but you do want to have some sort of conversation about it before deciding what you're gonna do um you know at the end of the day because it does feel like it is important for both of you to be on the same page about what that decision is it feels like if you were to have a conversation about it together it's going to end up being a lot better than you know just one person deciding something for everyone involved and this could be you or the person you're connecting to right so take it how it resonates it could be a vice versa thing but i do feel though that this is going to be a really important week for having that talk and having that conversation because it's going to lead to a lot more clarity uh, compared to what's happening right now in the present moment between the two of you so really love this for you hope you take it all in and if you like this reading and it resonated please give it a like please subscribe and i will see you in the next one